Hello everybody, this is Rachna and I am here once again with yet another clause and that is conditional clause. So, what is conditional clause? A conditional cl a clause is our conditional sentences. They consist of a main clause and a conditional clause, which is sometimes called an if clause. Now, the conditional clause usually begins with if or unless, right? Now, if you can, uh, you know, understand the meaning of the words if and unless, you will realize that they are conditional words. For example, if you say, if you don't do this, you will not get an ice cream. Right? Or if you don't, if you say, unless you don't study hard, you will not be able to pass your exam. So, both these words, if you notice, they have a condition applied. They are used for applying conditions. Hence, you can say that they are the if or the unless clause. Right? They are all like, they are generally known as the if clause. Now, the conditional clause can come before or after the main clause. For example, we'll be late if we don't leave now. Or you can even say, we'll be late unless we leave now. Right? Then you can even say, if we don't leave now, we'll be late. Or, unless we leave now, we'll be late. So you see, the same thing is said in a slightly different way but the conclusion is the same right you derive to the same thing so now let's learn a little more about the if and unless clause right or so to say the conditional sentences or the conditional clause they consist of a main clause and a conditional clause, right? So the conditional clause usually begins with if or unless. Or the conditional clause can come before or after the main clause. So when discussing habit or routine, the present or the past tense can be used in conditional clauses. So let's understand with this, we'll be late if we don't leave now. So here we have the clause with the if or in the next sentence, we'll be late unless we leave now is again beginning with unless, right? So it can come after or it can come before the main clause like we had in the previous uh, examples right so we could be discussing a habit or a routine and they could be in the past or the present uh, tenses right so there are three main types of conditional sentences or clauses let's say the real or the probable so as the name suggests right then they are type one or the improbable clauses they are like uh, you know type two or the impossible ones the type three now they can be distinguished by the tense that is used in each type for uh, uh, you know a detail let's understand that the main clause uses will can, may, or might with the base form of a main verb. So the if clause uses the present simple tense. I hope you know like what those tenses are. I'm sure you have gone through the previous videos with tenses. So I'm not going to get into detail about the tenses here right now. Okay. So let's say for example, 
she'll be cold if she doesn't wear a coat yeah so here you if you say she'll that is she will be cold if she doesn't wear a coat right so these sentences they refer to the future they suggest now here when i say they refer to the future i'm not saying that they are future tense they only refer to the future right that is that they are talking about something that could happen in the future right and the condition is what that if if you don't wear a coat you will get cold right or you will be cold so they suggest that the action in the main clause is quite likely to happen right like i just now said that if you don't wear a coat you will be cold right so for example if you book early you will get a seat right so the use of the modal verb may or might in the main clause suggest that there is some doubt whether the main verb action will be achieved or not right so there is a doubt so for example if you book early you may get a seat so here is your modal verb may right now let's understand the next one the main clause uses would could or might with the base form of a main verb now understand this is type 2 clause okay we are talking about the type 2 clause the improbable clause okay so the if clause uses the past simple tense for example if burglars broke into my house they wouldn't find any money right or the sub the past subjunct for example if i were you i'd phone her straight away so these sentences they refer to an imaginary situation okay they imply that the action in the if clause will probably not happen okay so they are just having you know a possibility that this could happen they're imagining something right like if burglars broke into my house so it's not that it has happened but there is a possibility there is a there is a there is a thought in the mind that this could happen but here we are not really referring to it that it will happen okay for example if i won the lottery i would buy a house in france but what really happens i don't think i'll win the lottery so this is something that is there in your mind that you may not win the lottery you might you don't think that you would win the lottery so that is why if i won the lottery i would buy a house in france okay so the past subject uh, subjunctive is often used when giving advice to someone especially about the person should do right for example if i were you i tell them the truth okay so here what happens you are talking about giving an advice to somebody you're saying that if i were you that is if i were in your shoes i would tell them the truth right so this is what we have when we talk about the um the situation right that you're giving an advice to someone so let's understand the third one that is the impossible or the type 3 one like the main clause uses would could or might 
with have and with the past participle of a main verb. So, the if clause uses the past perfect tense. Now, in these sentences, the speaker is looking back from the present to the past time and event. Okay, they are, you can say they are reviewing or they are, uh, you know, there is a kind of uh, a flashback. Like, we could have had a longer holiday if we hadn't spent so much money on the house. Right? So, you're basically talking about something that you're reflecting over. Okay. So, basically in the type 3 sentences, the speaker is looking back from the past, from the present to a past time or event. Okay. The speaker is talking about what might have happened but did not. Now, this is either because the wrong thing was done or because nothing was done. Okay. So, this type of sentence is used when making excuses, showing regret, or blaming, or giving an explanation. Okay. So, now there's something that we all need to understand, we all need to note. Okay. Now, conditional clauses can also be used to talk about consequences or to give an opinion about a situation in the various ways. Okay? Like, the if clause uses the present simple tense and the main clause uses the present simple tense. This is used to refer to universal truths. Okay? If you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. This is a universal truth. Okay? Plants die if they don't get enough water. This is again a universal truth. Alright? So, now the if clause uses the present simple tense and the main clause is in the imperative. Imperative is important. Okay, this is used to give advice or orders from particular situations or sets of circumstances. Like, if the alarm goes off, make your way outside to the car parking or the car park, right? So, if a red light shows here, switch off the machine, right? I hope you've understood with these, uh, with these examples. Now, the if clause uses the present continuous or present simple tense and the main clause uses a modal verb. This is used to make suggestions and give advice. Okay? So, if you're thinking of buying a lawnmower, you could try mine first. Okay, like you should turn down this radio if you don't want the neighbors to complain. Alright, so now the if clause uses will, would and the main clause uses a modal verb. Now this is used to make a request or to give a polite order. Like if you will wait a minute, the doctor can see you. Okay? Now, what you need to notice that a D in the main clause is the contracted form of would. Alright? However, a D in an if clause is the contracted form of had. Like, I'd have gone if he'd invited me. Right? I would have gone if he had invited me or I would have gone if he'd invite me, right? So, there are certain things that we can actually understand, all right? I hope 
uh, this has been very clear to you and you people have understood right so we come to the end thank you so very much have a wonderful day ahead and stay safe bye bye